Hi, it's Maggie. Today I'm doing the sinistry chart of Rihanna. <laughs> Nobody needs a last name for Rihanna. And her man, her man of two years, Hassan Jamil. So I just did Hassan's chart. I'll post it later. And I've done Rihanna's chart before. So this is a sinistry where they connect romantically. Um, and they connect in Pisces, you know. His moon is in Pisces. And his moon is right on her north node. So that is a very extremely sensitive karmic connection. They're like soulmates in that in that degree because his north node also is in Pisces. That's sort of what you're fated, destined to do. Um, they're not it's not exact with her with hers, but the moon, his his moon and her north node are exact. So they they get each other so intimately and intuitively and sensitively and ethereally. So he would love the artistry in her. And uh, they would just get each other on, the, on a very deep, deep soul level. Um, and it's good that although she is, you know, she has Moon and Venus and Aries, his Mars is is uh, zero degrees Aries, so it's not close enough to her moon for an exact conjunction, but he gets her Aries side too. So he gets her part Pisces side, because she is sun in Pisces. So sun, you know, her sun in Pisces and his moon in Pisces, that, that's a really good connect. Even though it's not exact, you still get each other's element, right? Uh, yeah, and so that's the, yeah, she's got Moon, Venus, and Aries. But his, yeah, so his Mars gets her Aries because Mars is the ruler of Aries. So he, he gets her Pisces and he gets her Aries, but he, and he loves her artistry. And they connect on a, on a very deep soul level. But the other, I mean, they have a lot going on in, on their midheaven, on their ascendant. And mostly up there, <coughs> it's the outer planets because they're about the same age and they they move a lot more slowly. So, you know, Saturn sticks around every couple of years. So if they're like 30 and 31, they would have the same Saturn. And Uranus is a seven year transit. So they have the same Uranus, the same Saturn and the same Neptune, slightly Neptune, slightly different degree, but this chart has them all up in the midheaven in the ninth and <clears throat> ninth and tenth house of Capricorn, Sagittarius, and uh, Capricorn is on the MC. So that would be the foreign attraction. That's very strong attraction for him to an artist and for her to, you know, the Pisces part of him really helps, but the alluring um, GQ business billionaire businessman, you know, helps as well. So she sees that her Neptune sees his midheaven, his Saturn is, you know, his dominance in his career, and they have the same you know, So yeah, but uh, so here's the Saturn. Anyway, I wanted to get to the Scorpio house because that's where they, my, 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 my eye first, my first eye, my eye first went to Pisces and Scorpio. Those, those are their strongest, strongest connections. Um, Pluto, Pluto. <laughs> of course they have both have Pluto and Scorpio. They're 30 and 31, right? But they're, they, they look like they're exact and they're in the seventh house of relationships. That's on fire, sexual chemistry, uh, joint assets as well. Pluto's the ruler of Scorpio. So to have that in your, he is so attracted to her because she has Pluto and Scorpio, but he in the seventh house of relationships. So she's like a draw, right? <clears throat> but he has Pluto, the midheaven and the sun. Well, actually the sun. It looks like it's, yeah, his son is also in the seventh house 
although it's a Libra, but still. So yeah, he's totally just mesmerized by her, totally attracted to her, and her as well. Um, her being in love with him would be, let's see her. Would, I, I think it would be the soul connection. I think it would be, I think it would be the moon, north node, in Pisces. Um, and Pluto, Pluto in the seventh house of relationships. It's kind of like, this is the one, you know, I could see myself having chemistry with this person the rest of my life. Um, and, and they're both very deep water signs, you know, Scorpio's passion, intensity, um, intuition, sensitivity. And Pisces is mutable water. Yeah, and Scorpio is fixed water. So that's an excellent connection of the elements for these two. Very strong intu intuitive sensitivity, extreme sensitivity. So they, they would get each other and probably not even have to talk that much if they didn't want to. Um, yeah, so those, those are the main connections I see on, you know, where their planets inter intercept. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do all the house systems, but I just see love and passion and just really, I wouldn't be surprised if these two, if these two get married. I really, I really, uh, I think it looks good for these guys. I think he's he's a very very so, so is she very complex personality, but they have the the Scorpio and Pisces sensitivity to to be able to delve into that and just and just understand and sympathize and be have empathy and. Um, maybe some philanthropy as well together, you know, you see that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for subscribing to my channel.